Hey guys, welcome to Lousecast with TGN.TV and this is Raid Ready. Basically guys, this is a new series I'm going to be kicking off of a 10-man raid guide series for all the bosses in Firelands for normal mode and we will see about hard mode when I get there. Anyway guys, in this first episode we're going to be taking a look at possibly the first boss you will encounter which is Shannox. Now basically Shannox will spawn when you kill a number of trash mobs within the instance itself. Some groups uh, do prefer to take on Betalak, which will be the next guide that I will be doing. So sit back and I hope you enjoy the guide. So let's get right into the action here on Shannox. Now the important thing to note here guys is that Shannox has two adds, Riplim and Rageface. Riplim himself, you want your other tank to be tanking him and that is exactly what I am doing in this fight. He will start to do a debuff called Jagged Tur on the tank and it's really important that you do find a way to reset the stacks on this debuff and I will go through that in a few moments time. Okay, Rage Face, he has no threat table and cannot be tanked. He will do an ability called Face Rage, which will knock down a random person to the ground and then eat them. While he's doing this, there's a 50% chance increase to crit, and a 40k crit will break it. So you want someone that can crit high, such as a Hunter or a Mage, um, to be doing that to get the crit and to then break the ability. Now you actually want to tank Ripley about 50 to 60 yards away from the raid itself. And the reason why, guys, is because Shannox will throw his spear at Ripplin. If this spear hits you, it will hit for about 156k, so make sure you're nowhere near it. And he will then do a spiral sort of AoE effect on the ground, and you don't want your DPS to be caught in that. Now, Shannox will also fire out two traps onto the grounds. One is a crystal prison trap, and the other is an immolation trap. It's really important that you just sort of avoid these traps. Now, I did mention the stacks that... Ripplim himself will be doing on the other tank. There are basically two ways that you can sort of reset these stacks. When Shannox throws his spear, Ripplim will actually go to retrieve the spear and return it to Shannox himself. So basically this gives you a chance to reset your stacks either by moving away like I'm going to try to do here. So there we go, I've intervened to my healer and I'm moving back and I'm doing basically doing a big loop. He's gone to return the spear itself now and that should reset my stacks in time of that debuff. Um, the other way is to get actually get Ripplin into a Crystal Prism trap himself. Now bear in mind guys, these traps do actually take a bit of, bit of time to go off. So the best time to do it is when he is actually walking back to retrieve the spear and he will not be in his run animation. Okay, the raid setup you want for this fight is two tanks, three healers and a mix of melee and ranged DPS. You want one healer on each tank and you want one healer to be raid healing. Now when Shannox gets to 30% health both the dogs will gain a buff which basically is going to increase their damage by a fuck ton and that buff is called Frenzy Devotion and you basically don't want this to happen so you want both dogs to definitely be dead before Shannox gets to 30% life himself. What we normally do is we normally focus Rage Face down then we move to Ripley and then we move to the boss. However, you want the boss to be on uh, quite low life but above 30% before both dogs die as he will gain an ability called Frenzy which will increase his attack speed and physical damage by 30% and it will also throw his spear onto the ground doing that AoE sort of spiral effect there again. So if you're tanking Ripley, remember to always try to reset your stacks which is exactly what I'm doing here. They have gone. That is all good. Um, the main tank on Shannox will also get the Jagged Tur debuff as well and basically the way he resets that is when Shannox throws his spear there is he gets a chance to reset his stacks there it just depends on how long it takes Ripplin to return the spear so again you want to be getting Ripplin either in a trap or you want to be putting distance on him um, when that spear is thrown and therefore the, the stacks will reset uh, another way to do this is if you are um, have a priest in your raid group, you can get them to life grip you out of range of that spear and therefore you will have a chance to reset your stacks. So at the minute in our raid we've got a lot of traps on the ground, but I'm just uh, avoiding those, trying to get those stacks off me. So there we go, zero second and the stacks are off. Our DPS are focused on Ripplin. Rage Face is now dead and we've got the Berserk in five minutes. There is actually a Rage Timer on Shannox as well. So we're going to DPS Ripplin down and then we're going to move into phase 2. And that is when, as I mentioned, Shannox will get his Frenzy ability. And this is where, guys, you want to be blowing your blood loss and all that sort of thing. And it is just sort of a healing and DPS phase for phase 2. So we're about to go into phase 2 in a few seconds time, I think, once we have downed Ripplin. There he goes, he's running back with the spear, as you can see there. 
Do, 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 do. There he goes. And and my stacks are going to reset once again. It's about, but you can get up to about eight stacks, and you find any more than that, and your healer's going to really struggle to heal you. So here we go into phase two now, guys. Note that both the boss and Ripley aren't tauntable. So you've got to use your threat gaining abilities at the start on each of them. So for example, at the start of this fight I used to rope fire on Ripley to get him to me. And there's lots of traps around and he's throwing his spear on the ground now as we were into phase two. We blow him blood lost and all that sort of good stuff. Um, now also, one thing I forgot to mention, you want to tank Shannox away from the raid because he will do an ability which actually causes his, his jagged toe which is sort of a frontal cleave. So any DPS caught in that are going to feel the pain, so to speak. Um, so on to phase two. Now, I, I, there's not a lot I can do at this stage because, like I said, I can't taunt the boss. So I'm just trying to do whatever DPS I can to bring him down as a prot warrior. <laughs> and we're about to get the kill here. And there we go. That is Shannox down, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this guide. Uh, don't forget to comment from this video if you liked it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.